things struck me, it was like having a heavy metal object hit me over the head. As the current went through my body, it seized up every muscle in it. And in that moment, I knew that my life would never be the same. It was a grand wake-up call and a series of wake-up calls that began the day I was born 51 years ago yesterday. As a child, I would endure drowning, being sexually abused by multiple people, being uh, emotionally abused, physical abused, and date rape and uh, sexual assault as a teenager. So by the time I was in my early 20s, the diagnoses began to roll in. I had ulcers, irritable bowel syndrome, leaky gut syndrome, migraine headaches that lasted for weeks, TMJ so terrible that I couldn't open my mouth and had to take my food through a straw. Vertigo so awful that I had to crawl across the floor to get to the bathroom. I'd have severe debilitating muscle spasms in my neck and upper back that would put me in bed for weeks. I had depression with suicidal thoughts, PTSD, and eventually chronic fatigue syndrome with fibromyalgia. It was a world-class mess. The Adverse Childhood Experiences Study is the largest public health study ever done. Right here in San Diego at Kaiser Permanente, they've been tracking over 17,000 people for more than two decades. And the study concluded exactly what my body was already showing me, that the experiences of our lives have a profound effect on our physical bodies and can and do create illness in them. The work of Dr. Candace Perk, who discovered the opiate receptor, taught us that our brain cells aren't just in our brains, but they're in every cell of our bodies, and that when we register an emotion, every single cell in your body experiences it. So, if we know that emotions can make us sick, as evidenced by things like, that person just makes me sick to my stomach, I'm so sick and tired of, or I'm worried sick, then couldn't emotions also make us well? I mean, if emotions are so powerful that they can destroy cell tissue, then couldn't emotions also rebuild them? This is the work that I've been doing for two decades as a transpersonal psychologist with incredible results. I should not be standing on the stage today because most people that go through what I went through, they don't ever recover. They end up in the system of doctor's offices and in illnesses for the rest of their lives. So, what are we gonna do about this? Well, today, we have innovative health practitioners that are offering somatic therapies, transpersonal psychology, emotional intelligence therapies, and energy medicine techniques that get to the root cause of illness and address and transform the emotional inner life of the patient at the cellular level. So, because we're in this incredibly exciting time in medicine, um, I think that if we create a network of doctors and practitioners, that together we could leave no stone unturned when it comes to achieving miraculous results for our patients. Having up to a billion volts of electricity travel through my body was quite the wake up call. But each one of your patients, each one of us, we have our own lightning strike moments too. So let's go to the emotional, mental, and energetic root causes and address them with the same significance that we address the physical root causes. And then together, we can create this network that will help our patients achieve miraculous results. Thank you.